ADHD, your mind, habits, and life. Right? Um, so I want to start with a small exercise. So can, we're going to play a game. You might have recognized this from social media platforms like Instagram or TikTok. It's put a finger down. So um, you're going to put up five fingers. You can kind of keep it around your body. You don't need to put them all the way up here. But you're going to put up five fingers. And then I'm going to ask you questions, and you put a finger down if it applies to you. All right. So, do you ever find yourself speaking too fast? Do you ever find yourself staring into the abyss or just lost? Um, do you ever find yourself like wiggling, fidgeting, shaking, or even like bouncing your knee while you're sitting? Um, are you a, a person who overshares or a yapper? And do you make impulse decisions? or like do things without even thinking them through? And are you a person who falls into the category of organized chaos? Which is, it's a mess, but I understand everything that's going on in my mess. So if you have about like no fingers or one finger down, chances are you could have ADHD. These are common symptoms. Now I'm not a doctor. I cannot diagnose you with ADHD. But I have it myself, and I have an official doctor's diagnosis of ADHD. Um, so we're going to go over what is ADHD, what does it do, and then how do we manage ADHD and cope with it in our lives. So I have ADHD, and Throughout my day, every day, I struggle with it or I cope, manage, but sometimes I live with it and I embrace it because it can actually be helpful. So what is ADHD? ADHD is an acronym that stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. And in English, to put it short, it's difficult, but um, Really what it is, is um, it's struggling to focus while mixing in having an excess amount of energy. So where does ADHD come from? Well, ADHD is something that's passed on through genetics. So I have it, two of my brothers have it. Well, I also get it from my father and his side of the family. That's where it's predominant. And it's something that has developed in our genetics over time, but it's also things that um, scientists are finding can actually be caused by other things, and then that's why it's passed down genetically. There has been a spike in number of cases in ADHD. The CDC says that possible causes for ADHD besides genetics is brain injuries, exposure to environment risks like lead poisoning, and this most commonly happens um, during a woman's pregnancy or when a child is exposed to it really young. So if your father ate lead, pa lead paint chips like mine did, it's very possible that that's why I have ADHD. Yeah. So. You can also, they're finding also connections between women who use alcohol and tobacco while they're pregnant. It, they're also finding connections between premature births and low birth weights can have an effect on a human's brain chemistry. And that can affect them to develop symptoms of ADHD. So what are the different types of ADHD? Yes, there are different types. So on the left, you have predominantly inattentive presentation. So that's getting easily distracted and being forgetful. So it's me giving a speech and then looking out the window and saying, ooh, a pretty butterfly. It's exhibiting some of those symptoms that, let's go back to the, the, um, the example, the, the exercise, staring into nothingness and losing your train of thought. 
that's predominantly an attentive presentation. Predominantly hyperactive 